Hey everybody, welcome back to Hearthstone Arena, Northern Lion's Den. Cringeworthy name, cringeworthy play in the last episode as well. Uh, went 0 and 3, so we went 3 and 3 overall as our druid in the arena. Ended up uh, winning a, uh, a decent amount of gold, the most I've ever gotten from arena for sure, and I ended up being able to buy my way back into the arena uh, with that gold that we actually earned. So now we're in here uh, in the arena, I have a choice between a rogue, a warrior, and a hunter. I am definitely going to take the hunter. I have been playing with him quite frequently lately. So, we're going to see uh, what we could possibly put down here. So I'm going to take a little bit more time for deck construction. I understand the Hunter a little bit better and what I could possibly get out of this deck. Watch me go 0 and 3 now that I've said that. Um, okay, so I'm thinking about this. So you can never tell what cards are going to come up in the deck builder. So we have uh, Crazed Alchemist, Swap the Attack, and Health of a Minion. This would be really great if we had, uh, like, uh, Snapjaw. I think his name is Oasis Snapjaw. Apologies for my coffee maker there. Uh, he has 2 and 4 health. Only four mana to summon, and then there's buffs that you can give him to give him even extra health. Crazed Alchemist seems like an interesting choice here, but maybe not the best card to get out right away. Whenever a character is healed, gain plus one attack. She's going to die in two seconds. Um, at the start of your turn, swap this minion with a random one in your hand. That's scary. Uh, I'm going to go with Crazed Alchemist. I think that gives us some interesting possibilities. Wisp. Zero mana, one and one. Interesting. Battle cry, destroy your opponent's weapon. Also interesting. Uh, Chill Wind Yeti. I love Chill Wind Yeti, but I kind of like Acidic Swamp Ooze in this situation. <clears throat> okay, uh, as a Hunter, Tracking is a really good card, so I'll, I'll toss that in there. Uh, we have a Wind Fury, one mana creature. I don't really like that so much. One health. Deadly Shot, destroy a random enemy minion. Really useful if he summons, like, one really powerful minion, because then the random minion has to be the powerful one. Uh, Unleash the Hounds is kind of an interesting spell as well. Give your beast plus one attack, plus charge. Uh, this is normally useful when you summon, like, a lot of minions on the same turn. Kind of like Deadly Shot in the situation. i got to watch my mana curve as well. Uh, River Crocolisk is a uh, really good card for two mana, in my opinion, at least. Um, I kind of like Leper Gnome. I really like Stormpike Commando, and we've seen a lot of these cards before, by the way, which is why I'm kind of just uh, quickly picking them. Gnomish Inventor with a 2-4 Battlecry draw card is kind of nice. Starving Buzzard is really good if you have a, a lot of beasts in your deck, because whenever you summon a beast, you draw a card. It usually dies in a turn or two, but uh, we have two River Cro oh, we have one River Crocolisk, uh, Acidic Swamp Ooze. None of these other things are beasts, so that might not be the best card for us yet. Uh, Arcane Shot to deal two damage is pretty good, and, you know, Nightblade's actually pretty nice, too. So, why don't we go with Nightblade? We need a few higher mana cards here. Um, Injured Blade Master is interesting, but I don't trust myself to use it effectively. I love Emperor Cobra. This was part of our Druid deck. Destroy any minion damaged by this minion. Can be really useful. Uh, Bloodfen Raptor is a, a very nice card. Frost Elemental is a card that I like a lot as well, but I think I'm going to go with uh, another Leper Gnome, honestly. Now, uh, we have the Eagle Horn Bow. Whenever a secret is revealed, gain plus one durability. This is a weapon for our Hunter class, uh, which is really useful. I think I'm actually going to go with that. And now I could use some uh, kind of higher mana cards. Give a minion plus two attack, deal two damage, uh, or Fairy Dragon. I already have so many two mana cards. I think another one mana card is kind of a, the smarter choice here. Uh, let's get the Hound Master, which can buff our enemies a little bit. Or, sorry, buff our minions a little bit, not our enemies. That wouldn't make any sense at all. Uh, for six mana, I love Charge and Divine Shield on Argent Commander. Why don't we summon, uh, or why don't we take a, uh, mm, how many beasts do we have in the deck? Bloodfen Raptor is a beast. Uh, River Crocolisk is a beast. Emperor Cobra is a beast. I think that's it. So that's really not that much for Timberwolf here. So I'm going to go with another River Crocolisk. Hunter's Ma Ah, this is really good. So whenever your opponent plays a minion, deal four damage to it. Very good. Change this minion's to health one turn for one turn. Also uh, really amazing. It's zero mana, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, silence a minion. Silence is apparently OP right now, so I'll roll with that. Okay, so we have another secret card here. When a character attacks your hero, instead he attacks another random character. That sounds, honestly, a little bit scary. It could attack him, it could attack one of my own minions that I don't want to die. Uh, six mana, Death Rattle, summon two, two, two hyenas, or Gadgets in Auctioneer, whenever you cast a spell, draw a card. Let's go with Savannah High Main. Um, I've never used this card before, so I'm interested to see how it works out. Explosive Shot, deal five damage to a minion and two damage to all adjacent ones. I like that. Mind Control tech if your opponent has more than four minions. Uh, four or more, sorry. Take control of one at random. Or another Argent Commander. I kind of like Explosive Shot in this situation. We've got nine cards left. All minions cost one more. Scary. 
Demolisher, at the start of your turn, deal two damage to a random enemy. Seems like a good card to throw out if we don't have any other minions. Um, I kind of like Twilight Drake, but it's a risky card. Twilight Drake means, uh, essentially, for every card in our hand, it gets plus one, plus one. So if we have a ton of cards, this is awesome. I should probably get, like, anything that allows us to draw more cards, like a Starving Buzzard, for example. But uh, I much prefer a Senjin Shieldmaster. It's such an annoying card. Um, how's our mana curve looking right now? We could use more stuff at the earlier end, I think. But I... I um, how many spells do we have? This is a good question. We got a few. Spell power plus one's not bad. We'll go with that. And uh, another spell power plus one. Which I kind of like. Um, Silence of Minion is an awesome card. I could use a taunt as well. Do I, I have a couple taunts, but I could use more. Uh, I really... Oh, this is a great card. That's the one that fucked me. Zero and four, uh, but a one mana taunt is really, really useful. So, gives your beast plus one attack and charge. Is Twilight Drake a beast? It's a dragon. I have a lot of, like, really low mana beasts. So if I played a bunch of those and unleash the hounds, I could have some really good stuff there. Plus I have a bunch of, uh, you know, spell power plus ones. We have two cards remaining. Uh, I think we should take some stuff at the higher end of the uh, chart here. What about this taunt creature here? It might be very useful for me. And uh, another explosive shot. Yeah, I kind of like the first minion you play each turn costs two less. That is a, a really useful card, but I, I'm going to go with... Uh, mm, this is a scary situation. I'm going to go with uh, uh, Pint Size Summoner because I have a lot of minions in my deck. Okay, so this is our deck. It's never going to change. There's many like it, but this one is ours. Let's play. And again, what's my goal for this? I would be, I know that people want me to come in here and say, like, Oh, we're going to set my goal at seven wins, three losses. I'm a realist, and uh, I think it's pretty unlikely that I would be able to do that. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we can at least break even, win some golds, uh, and I'd be okay with it. So I go first in this situation. This crazed alchemist is not a beast. Swap the attack and health of a minion. It's, it's not really useful to throw that out first. Let's uh, switch our hound master and hopefully get a better card. Ah, three. Eaglehorn bow. This is actually pretty useful. Eaglehorn Bow only has two durability, but whenever a secret is revealed, gain plus one durability. I should have taken some secrets to go along with this, I guess. It would have given me uh, some better synergy here, but it's okay. So, uh, Pint Size Summoner, the first minion you play each turn costs two less. I'm just going to skip this turn. Arcane Shot is a, a decent card, but I prefer using it uh, to take out a minion. Uh, just dealing two damage to him that he can easily counter doesn't seem that useful to me. I realize that could be seen as a waste of one mana, but... Yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm, I'm still feeling my way around uh, Hearthstone here. And of course, greetings, always want to say greetings. Traveler. Greetings, Traveler Lynette. Uh, very nice of you. Thank you for being civil. I'm going to break some comments here. Or break some comments. Break some windows here. Looks like he's going to play something. Oh, she's good. he or she, I guess. She's going to play the coin right off the bat. Uh, and get uh, Amani Berserker out there, which is a really frustrating card to be out there. Right away, um, we could easily... Change a minion's health to one, and then kill it, which I like. Uh, let me just think about this. I would also I, here's the thing. I would love to get Pine Size Summoner out there, but he just be killed instantly. So or she just be killed instantly. Crazed Alchemist swap the attack and health of a minion. Uh, no, I think we should. This is a, a weird way to deal with this, and again, it's going to leave us one mana in the hole, but. Uh, Despite going first, we're being reactive rather than proactive, but this is in the hopes of being able to do some good stuff later. So I'm hoping that he doesn't have a two-mana minion to summon that has more than two attack. Because if I can get Pint Size Summoner out there, uh, I could at least summon Crazed Alchemist. And, you know, the question is whether or not Crazed Alchemist is even worth summoning if I, there's no real good creatures to swap the health and mana for. But I've got to get some creatures on the field here. At the end of your turn, give another random friendly minion plus one attack. Okay, so we have spell power plus one here too. Uh, we could give ourselves the Eaglehorn Longbow here. If we give ourselves Eaglehorn Longbow, I could easily kill the uh, Master Swordsmith this turn. But by doing this, from now on, every uh, minion that I summon, or the first minion that I summon, will cause zero mana out of these two in my hand. So I, I kind of like this. And uh, what I can do on the next turn, we have to wait and see what he does, obviously. I can play Crazed Alchemist for zero mana, swap the health and uh, attack of this minion, and then just attack it with the Pint Size Summoner, and, and uh, that would kill me too, wouldn't it? Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll think about this. 
I, then I could put the eagle horn bow on and kill it instantly, but actually I guess I could do that already. We'll think about it. Interesting so far. This is a much different hunter deck than the deck that I have uh, given myself otherwise. Is he really gonna... It's kind of a weird choice, but I, I get what he's doing here. Now, uh, oh, okay, so all of these cost zero, which is nice. There's no point, I guess, in... Um... Well, no, let me think about this. If we used Crazed Alchemist, we swap the health of our pint-sized summoner, then this guy won't be able to kill her on the next turn, and I can use Eaglehorn Longbow. I'll take three damage, but I will destroy this taunt and uh, kind of buffed out of control character here, and maybe uh, my pint-sized summoner will live for another turn. So let's play Crazed Alchemist. We'll swap the health of this lady right here. It's kind of a weird play, I suppose. Uh, I could also summon another minion. Oh, you know what? I could just kill him like so and then he's got to figure out a way to deal with me on the next Coming turn through. oh okay here's what we do let's do uh, eagle horn longbow I gotta play it I guess we'll put that out there and then um, that'll do three damage we can take care of that guy we'll take three damage ourselves shit happens right and then by doing this we'll live and we'll take out that character and we'll have two minions on the field not that we can really do anything right now. He's got a serious card advantage, but uh, if Pine Size Summoner manages to live again, we essentially get a zero mana uh, minion that we can play. Do we want plus one spell power or uh, Bloodfen Raptor? Probably Bloodfen Raptor at this point. I would love to draw another card that would be viable for me to play, though, because obviously, um, you know, with uh, zero mana, I can't really do anything. Uh, or I have to have something else to do. Otherwise, I'm just going to be sitting on a bunch of mana at the end of my turn. Kind of an interesting deck. Uh, so far, all sorts of interesting propositions. My other Hunter deck is full of just, like, assassinate cards. And those are essentially five mana cards that are, like, destroy enemy minion, destroy enemy minion. And lots of the uh, uh, the cards that uh, reduce a minion's health. I think it's called Hunter's Mark. Reduce a minion's health to zero. Or reduce a minion's health to one for this turn. Okay, so he's used uh, two mana to destroy my pine Size Summoner. I think that's a good play, honestly. Uh, that creature was only going to be more annoying. It was only going to allow me to throw all sorts of uh, minions out on the field. So he has decided not to do anything else on his turn, which is interesting. Uh, how do we want to deal with this? So we can summon uh, Bloodfen Raptor, which I like a whole lot. Uh, he can't swap anybody's health, but we can do two damage to the enemy. I'm kind of making the mistake that I make a lot, maybe, which is to rush him down a little bit too early. But we'll uh, hit him with our Eagle Horn Longbow, and then we'll hit him like this as well. Obviously, for two mana, he can, uh, you know, uh, improve himself or heal himself, but then he's not going to be able to deal with both of the minions that I have on the field in all likelihood. I haven't played that many games against priest characters, so I actually don't know how this is going to work out. But yeah, like, I, like I've mentioned like 10 times after my turn has been over a very different deck than the deck I'm used to running with. I like a lot of these neutral cards though. Okay, so he did use that. Now he's got three mana to do something. Uh, I really like Bloodfen Raptor as a two mana card just because it's... Your hero power becomes deal two damage if already in shadow form three damage. Whoa, that's interesting. Uh, he can't do anything with it this turn. But hopefully he doesn't have too many... Or she doesn't have too many more of those in her deck. Um, so this uh, Twilight Drake is going to die if I send it out there. Because uh, it gains plus one, plus one for every card in our hand, but it's only one, one. But I kind of want to send something out there just to uh, kind of F with him a little. Just to like soak up damage so he can't just tap two mana and destroy all of my creatures, right? So I'm going to send out uh, Cobalt Geomancer. The reason I'm not sending out uh, Iron Beak Owl is because I want to save that silence for a good minion. Twilight Drake, if I have more cards on my hand, it's worth more. Now, we're not really drawing too many cards, which is the scary part, I guess. But uh, I'm, I'm okay with this so far. I'm keeping these cards because otherwise I'd just be throwing them away. For two, and we have enough mana to basically do anything. And I'm hoping we get a, uh, a high mana card soon. So he's just going to destroy Bloodfen Raptor. He's going to have four mana left to do something. And uh, I hope for his sake that he, he manages to get some creatures on the field or deal with the ones that I have on the field. Let's see. And again, I, I keep saying his. I don't mean that to be offensive, of course. Obviously, we're playing against somebody with the name of Lynette. I, it's just a force of habit. I'm not trying to imply anything by that, of course. Um, it's hard to get out of the, the habit of it. So there is a silence on that minion. That's uh, a little frustrating, I guess, because we don't have the spell power bonus anymore. But it's actually not that big of a deal. Um, 
He doesn't have... Oh, he will have the hero power next turn. It's because he used it on this turn. So this creature doesn't have taunt. I would still like to kill him, but it would cost me both of my minions to do so. And at that point, it's maybe best to just uh, take him out. What does Battlecry Silence mean? So there's no point in using him right away. If I force him to tap two mana... I mean, is there any way that I'm going to be able to stop? Gains plus one, plus one for every card in my hand. It's a weird one. Uh... I kind of like the idea of uh, establishing a little bit more board Don't control here. So I am going to take out his 4 damage with my 4 damage. That might not have been a good play at all. But then I'm going to summon um, Leper Gnome just to get another creature on the field that could deal some damage to him. And I've still got a lot of mana left in my hand, don't get me wrong. But uh, I don't want him to just be able to kill Twilight Drake straight away. Even though he probably will still be able to later. I'm getting a little nervous, honestly. I have a pretty big advantage in health. But I really like his hero power. Um, that's going to deal two damage to himself as well. Which, you know, it's still probably the right play from him. Because he had to get rid of that creature before it did any more damage to him. Uh, I have a pretty huge advantage in health. But uh, I, I don't have any like spells that I can use to just whittle him down right away. He has a card advantage. Although he didn't really uh, do anything with it here. Now, since... Twilight Drake is not a beast. I don't think there's any value to uh, summoning Houndmaster here, actually. Unless, do dragons count as beasts? Battle, battle cry, gain plus one, plus one for everything in your hand. He's just gonna be, like, trounced immediately. I, I don't think there's any point in summoning Iron Beak Owl, though. It's so much better if I can use it to silence an enemy later. Um, so I guess we're just gonna start whittling each other down. Is there a better play here? Maybe you... Send out Houndmaster straight away. I don't know. I hate to do it. This is a very weird game. But it's a nice to have cards in my hand as well that I can play all at once. And he didn't really do too much on his turn either. His, her, again, my apologies. Okay, Battle Cry, your other minions gain taunt. That's either a misplay or she really doesn't have anything else to play. Give a minion plus three health. Um, there's nothing I can really do to silence it. Oh my god, he's gonna... But, okay, nine health is fine. Wow, this creature is getting buffed as fuck. Double it. Okay, so this creature has 18 health. And it's going to have taunts. That's the the gimme there. Unfortunately for him, or her again, I can totally just silence it right away. So, silence um, removes all card, text, and enchantments. So, she just burned all of her cards there. But I'm just going to be able to play this and silence him, or silence the minion. And now it's back to a 2-3, and it's never going to get those cards back, so... Uh, here's the thing, so I could give uh, a friendly beast plus 2, plus 2, and taunt. It's not a great idea, but it will be able to... Uh... You know what, at this point, why don't we try to use Twilight Drake here? we got to get it out of our hand at some point. It's going to be 3-3, three, three, so... He presumably won't be able to destroy it on this turn. And we'll be able to do a little bit more damage. Now I feel a lot better about the situation. We're basically the same on cards. Thank God I saved that silence. Uh, it allowed me to basically uh, stop that thing from being a damage sponge. Take control of an enemy minion. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, it still shouldn't be able to attack on this turn. Unless I'm mistaken. He is going to attack me like so. Um, yeah, that is a good play from him. But I still feel um, a lot better about the situation. Being able to play Senjin and Shield Master is very nice here. That means I have my own taunt. He'll be able to destroy it on the next turn. No Mission Venter will allow me to pick up another card. Ah, I like that card a lot. And, uh, cool, we'll do that. So we're whittling uh, her down just a little bit more here. This is a, a very interesting match from a tactical standpoint. Basically, the, this game's going to be over in four turns or less. Take control of... Oh, you fuck. <laughs> I hate you so much right now. More than you will ever know. Uh, Emperor Cobra is a good card to have in this situation. I really, I, I need to believe in the power of the deck right now. That was a, a weird mana tap for him, but maybe he'll be able to kill me. Sure, okay. He's going to be able to do three damage to me on this turn. It's not enough. Um, you know, in four turns I can kill him, basically. So, uh, we can't summon everything we have here, but I can use... Emperor Cobra, which will allow me to instantly destroy this taunt creature unless he chooses to take it out with Twilight Drake. That's up to him. And uh, I'll deal two damage to him, or to the, the hero right there, and like that. So, uh, you know, now the game becomes a two-turn 
game, essentially, just by virtue of my hero power. He could he can't heal himself anymore because he's changed his hero power. I uh, can he or she survive or take me out before uh, I can do another two turns. I find it unlikely, given that there's only two cards left in her hand. We'll see what these cards are, though. They have to believe in the power of the deck right now as well. Take control of an enemy minion. It's such a frustrating card. So he's only got one mana left. She's only got one mana left. I feel like I'm <laughs> commentary suffering as a result uh, of my actions here. This is not over yet, but there's very few outs, I guess would be the way to put it. So there's two attacks. It's really what uh, she chooses to do here. Okay, so she's going to attack Stormpike Commando with her taunt. And then, um, cool, that's going to destroy that. So, with her not doing any damage to me on this turn, I'm very, very confident that um, I will be able to win. If not on this turn, then on the next turn. Uh, so, give your beast a plus one attack and charge. I, I can just use Nightblade here and, and win the game. So, that was a good, it was well played. That was probably one of the more interesting games. Uh, that I've played of Hearthstone in all of my time with the game. Kind of a weird one. Uh, I never really felt like I had a huge advantage there, but then, you know, I won basically 24 to 0, which is uh, fairly pretty good, I guess. So we're going to click to continue here. And why don't we do one more match before we finish off the episode here? So at least we won one. We didn't get skunked in the arena, uh, and we'll get ready to play another one. That was a really fun match. I thought there was a lot of. Um, Good strategical thinking that went on there. I don't think Lynette necessarily played badly. Uh, except, th like, throwing all of her cards in that one basket to give that one minion so many, uh, so much health and so many uh, effects like taunts, and then just to get it silenced by a, a one or two mana creature. That's got to be frustrating, but, you know, there's no way she could have necessarily seen that coming. And I'm very, very thankful that uh, I didn't play that owl when I thought I might play it a little bit earlier, because... That would have maybe turned things around. Maybe instead of being uh, 24 to 0, I might have lost. Uh, and Lynette might have had a bunch of health left. So we're going to play Rockford here. What's a Rockford? For minerals. Silly. Okay. Um, we have a lot of very high mana cards here. That's scary. So as much as... Uh, I really love Sentient Shield Master. Maybe we'll keep that. Uh, and we'll keep Acidic Swamp Ooze, even though I don't know if Warlocks can even have a weapon. And we'll trade back uh, that 3 and 6 mana creature for a 4 and a 5. Essentially exactly the same amount of mana. So hopefully we will get a tracking card or we will draw some... Uh, nope, that's not very good. Uh, how do we do this? I guess we pass on our first turn. And uh, hope to draw a better card on the next turn. Acidic Swamp Ooze is a good card. I'd love to save this... Uh... No, of course there's a taunt there. I'd love to save this uh... coin card for as long as possible. Hunter's Mark, I, I like it. But... Uh... I'm trying to think of how I could do this. Destroy your... There's no point in taking his health down to zero on this turn. I'm going to play Acidic Swamp Ooze. And we'll see uh, if he chooses to deal with that or attack me directly. Probably in his best interest to just attack me directly, because I'll have to attack him on the next turn and die anyway. At the end of your turn, you have a 50% chance to draw a card. That is a... What is that? Is that a legendary or something? There's a weird dragon face attached to it. Okay. Here's an interesting idea. What if we swapped the uh, attack and health of a minion on this guy? Would he just immediately drop down to zero health? Wow, okay, that's an interesting way to kill an enemy. Uh, so, after that, I could just uh, do that, and there we go. And I'm trying to learn from the mistakes that I made in the last run. Uh, and I think I'm going to try to get this Twilight Drake card out on the next turn, because then it'll have, like, plus five, plus five or something. Deal three damage randomly split between all other characters. Good! My, uh, my minion lived, and that means... <laughs> I should have forgot to say hello. That means I can uh, take out that Mad Bomber on the next turn. Good, he's, he's a nice dude. So, uh, on this turn, I think it's a pretty good idea. I could also use uh, Hunter's Mark and kill River Crocolisk instead, but I don't think it's a good idea. Let's summon Twilight Drake instead. And uh, that'll be 7-7 right off the bat, which is scary. At least it's going to force him to deal with it, is my thinking. Don't. So we'll do that, and uh, of course I'm going to wait to play any other cards, because uh, every time I play a card, it actually takes one one away from this Twilight Drake. And the good thing about this is that if he spends a lot of his resources to deal with Twilight Drake straight away, it's not really a big deal, is it? Because I can just, um, uh, like, I, I have other high mana cards. 
Now, with Twilight Drake out here now, uh, my thinking is I should probably try to throw in a taunt. So... The first minion you play each turn costs two less. This is a good card to get out there, but I think it's better to throw out uh, maybe like a Senjin Shield Master. Ah, uh, you know, why don't we throw out the Fen Creeper in this situation? We'll save Senjin Shield Master, because otherwise I would have had one wasted mana in all likelihood. And then we'll just uh, attack him directly. We could get board control as well. That might be a good idea, but I'm going to force his creatures to attack my taunt creature instead if he wants to deal with Twilight Drake, or he can cast a spell on it. I'm trying to avoid my standard mistake of... Uh, just attacking uh, the hero too much and leaving board control as kind of a real issue, but uh, you know, I'm okay with having Twilight Drake or with having a Fen what is this, this is a weird swamp creature, Fen Creeper uh, soak up all the damage while Twilight Drake can do some good stuff uh, for himself. So now it's a real question of whether, uh, of what he wants to do here. He's gonna life tap, which means he's gonna take damage but draw a card. The card is whenever a character is healed, gain plus one attack. And now he's got a, it's like his attack phase. What's he gonna do? Let's see what this card does. He's, he's targeting, deal two damage to a minion. If it's a friendly demon, give it plus two, plus two instead. Uh, and then he'll, ooh, he didn't attack it at all, which is a strange choice in my opinion. Is this a beast? No, that is also not a beast. So we have to kill the taunt creature. How do we do it? Uh. I think that it is in our best interest to reduce its health to one with Hunter's Mark, like so. And uh, I like that a lot, and then we can use Fen Creeper to attack it. We still have a Taunt on the field. Um, obviously, Twilight Drake doesn't do as much damage anymore, because we just played a card. I think that's how it works anyway. Uh, I kind of want to... I, I think I want to put... Um, wait, we have a Silence here. That's not useful yet. Because I, well, I'm not going to heal anytime soon. He only has two cards in his hand, which is uh, interesting. Kind of want to throw out um, Pint Size Summoner and Senjin Shield Master. That'll give us two taunts. I still have a number of minions in my hand, and this will allow me to summon minions at uh, between zero and two mana, which I like a lot. Now, is it in our best interest to maybe destroy one of these minions? I think so. Um, I understand that time is moving quickly, don't get me wrong. Ah, why don't we just do 7 damage to him directly? That's a pretty strong attack. So, let's see how he deals with this. He has less cards, a lot less health, and uh, less damage on the field. He summoned a taunt of his own. It's frustrating, but I can do something about it. He has no mana left. So now let's see how he chooses to simplify the board here, if he chooses to simplify it. If he doesn't, um, we could uh, cause some real problems for him here. So that creature lives from him, which is, I think, a smart play. I still have another taunt on the field, and I can summon minions for free. It's not just beasts, right? It is, it's all minions. Now, do we have any beasts on the field? Not really. Okay, so we can deal two damage instantly with, um... I'm trying to think, is we might be able to kill him on this turn. Silence a minion. Oh, if, okay, if we silence him, then he doesn't have taunt, and I think we can just win right here. So we'll silence this minion right here. And uh, without that taunt, we can easily do... 12 damage. Very good. Okay, so I uh, redeemed myself a little bit after the terrible arena play in the last episode. We are 2-0 and zero with this Hunter so far. This game a little bit more uh, routine than the last one, shall we say. So, um, there we go. We're 2-0. and zero. I'm excited with those results so far. Again, series is still in its infancy, so I appreciate any support you can give it. If you liked the video, please consider clicking the like button. It helps more than you can possibly know, and I am appreciative of every single one of them. And of course, if you thought I played terribly, feel free to leave some constructive criticism in a civil form about how I can improve my skill. I'm here to actually put my play on display to get criticism uh, in the hopes of becoming a better player. So uh, as long as you phrase it in a palatable way, uh, I would love to take your advice and hopefully get better. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I appreciate your support on the series so far. Make sure to subscribe if you want more daily Hearthstone videos. Hearthstone videos. One day I'll get the pronunciation internalized. And as always, thanks for watching.